family, brothers, and sisters in the West. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacred Friends of the West. Our parish community requests me to join our fellow parishioners in their thanksgiving for special blessings received from the Lord. They are Linda. Likewise, we beg you to pay for the special attentions of the following brothers and sisters in our parish community. They are Dante, Jesuit, and Alfea. Lastly, let us pray for the eternal repose of the infant and love. They are Lilia, Lucidia, Rufino, Natividad, Vicente, Alfredo, Benito, Jocelyn, Rebecca, Jude, Chidora, Edalberto, Orlando, Jesse, Ruby, Lucia, Maria Angela, Melvin, Nicola, and for the souls in Purgatory, Corazon, Catherine, Clemente. Let us bow down our heads and recognize the presence of God in His holy temple. Arise, O Lord, come to our help. Redeem us with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, look with compassion on our affliction, and so lighten your children's burden and confirm their faith, that they may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whispering of men, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any step of mine. Perhaps he will be the trap that we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not try it. In their failure, will we will put other shame to last unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who prove mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance take on them. For to, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my, in my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. I love thee, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim. 
and I am safe from my enemies. In my defense, I call upon the Lord and hear my voice. The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying floods overwhelm me. The cords of the netherworld enmesh me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I call upon the Lord and hear my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and I cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice and my cry to him, which is ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. Verse before the gospel. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, you, Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for your blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said you are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. My dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Good morning to all of you. Question. Was there a time in your life that you tried to question God? Just like in our gospel of today, they are trying to question Jesus. They are trying to prove something from Jesus. And these questions, yung mga tanong na binabato nila kay Jesus, hindi lang yung mga simpleng tanong. They are challenging questions. Kung baga, uh, chinachallenge nila si Jesus, depende sa magiging sagot mo, ang paniniwala namin sa iyo. Have we tried to challenge the Lord also with our questions? Hindi lang mga simpleng tanong na, Lord, ano bang gagawin ko ngayon? No? Simple lang yun. Lord, ano ba ang dadasalin ko ngayon? Simple lang yun. Lord, siya na ba ang pakakasalat ko? Simple lang ng mga tanong. Pero, very challenging questions. Have you tried the Lord to ask very challenging questions? Yung bang mahirap ng sagutin? I experienced that also in my life 14 years ago. Nung kinuha ni... Lord, si Mama. Matagal na matagal ng panahon. And I remember that during that time uh, na nagkasakit si Mama, I, I was trying to ask the Lord, I was in a seminary. I was trying to ask the Lord, Lord, bakit? Bakit si Mama? Bakit kailangan siya magkasakit? And then eventually she died. Ang dami ko pa rin tanong, bakit kami? Bakit mo kinawa ang nanay ko? Bakit mo ginawa ito sa amin? 
And then those questions were very challenging questions for me na hindi naman nasagot ng Panginoon. And until now, 14 years after, those are, were the same questions hanggang ngayon, minsan tinatangin ko pa rin. And sadly, parang hindi pa rin nasasagot yung mga tanong. And we try to ask those questions also to the Lord. Lalo ngayon na pandemic, malamang yun din ang tanong natin sa Panginoon, di ba? At sinasabi natin, Lord, bakit? Bakit ang tagal mo mag-respond? Bakit ano pang hinihintay mo na bakit kailangan pa marami pang mamatay bago kailangan dumating yung gamot? Bakit kailangan mangyari? Siguro ang mga tanong ng mga family members na sila yung apektuhan ng itong virus na ito, bakit kami? Why is the government doing this? We have a lot of questions, challenging questions that we are trying to ask the Lord and yet, sometimes, we cannot get the answers. But this is what I believe. Kaya siguro hindi natin nakukuha yung sagot sa ating mga tanong. Probably because we are asking the wrong questions. Most of the times, we are trying to ask the Lord, why? Bakit? Pero I believe, ang mas tamang tanong na ipinabato natin dapat sa Panginoon is this. Lord, ano? What is my next move after all this? What should I do? What are you trying to tell me? Ano po ang mensahe ninyo sa akin, Lord? Ano po ang gusto niyong ipagawa sa akin? And I believe if we, if we, write, if we try to ask the right questions, mas makukuha natin yung ating mga sagot. Siguro ko ang tanong natin sa Panginoon, Lord, ano po ang gagawin ko sa panahon ng crisis na ito? Mas madali natin makukuha ang sagot. Kung puro bakit ang ating magiging tanong, probably matagal pa natin makukuha or baka hindi na natin talaga makuha ang sagot. But, if you try to ask the Lord, Lord, ano po ang gusto mong ipagawa sa akin? Ano po ang minsan ninyo sa akin ngayon? Then I believe the Lord will try to answer us. Not directly, but He will try to answer us through the people that we meet and through the events that happen in our lives. My dear friends, let us ask the Lord now, ano po ang gusto niyo ipagawa sa akin ngayon? Lord, ano po ang minsan ninyo sa amin ngayon panahon ng crisis? Ano po ang bagong misyon na ipapagawa niya sa amin? Na resource niya. Let us pray that God may continue to guide us through His prophets so that He may spread the message of Jesus Christ. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear that the Church, through its leaders, may fulfill her vision of proclaiming the Gospel without compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the message of Jesus, like Nathan, might influence every level of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may see self-discipline especially during this penitential season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the trials of life may not discourage about and enable us grow in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who imagine that they do not need the sacrament of reconciliation may be moved to humble repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now include our personal wishes and intentions, especially for all the victims of these recent calamities.
Father, you sent us the words of the prophets to sustain our hope. Grant that we may be strengthened to do your will and to witness to our faith in you throughout our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thus said our Lord, God of all creation, for three witness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of your hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Then to keep God forever. Thus said our Lord God of all creation, for through goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of him, and hence it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our Lord and the Lord of all His holy. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we confidently bring before you, and turn, we pray, the bitterness of the sorrow we bear into a sweet and fragrant sacrifice before you. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the comes. Blessed is you, comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts of pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like it you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We will eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come to him. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and the kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and we let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the freedom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, it will take so in the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only see the word and the soul is everything. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, He will give you. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete and sensible.
un raggio di terra. Grazie a Padre, we come to you in our home to ask you protection against the crazy men who in coronavirus that has criminalized and has affected many. We pray for your grace, for that we want us to stand in the nature of the cause of this virus and its disease and to stand in the pride of its transmission. Guard the hands and minds of medical experts that they may make the care to the sick with competence and compassion. And with those governments and private agencies that must help you and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted may they be restored to help soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of God and to work for us to live. Let this go our Lord Jesus Christ to stand for this and bless me to God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, for the first time, sent us to end the art and change. Sent to us. 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 Let us pray. We humbly entreat you, O Lord, that nourished and fortified by this divine banquet, we may have strength to face future trials with fortitude and to lend more generous help to our brothers and sisters in time of trouble. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been at Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Good morning.